St. Regis, Punta de Mita, this is hotel number five. On my 15 day Puerto Vallarta adventure, I had to save the best for last and the best this is. This is one of the best St. Regis properties in the entire world and this is one of the best hotels in all of Mexico. The pools are unreal. My room is unreal. This entire property is just unreal. This is coolest luxury hotels, St. Regis, Punta de Mita. Okay, I'm finally in my room here at the St. Regis Punta de Mita. Uh, it took a little while to get in here, and that's because they wanted to make sure the room was absolutely perfect. Uh, while I waited, I hung out in the lobby, which was one of the best lobbies I've ever seen in my entire life. The welcome drink in that cool margarita glass was quite cool too. And then I went down to Seabreeze, which is their international restaurant right next to the pool. Suffice it to say, I cannot wait to explore this property. Let me give you a very brief room rundown. I'm gonna make an extended tour of this room. This is one of the best rooms I've ever seen um, or have had on the channel. And that's probably why it goes for $1,600 a night. I just wanna show you a couple things. Uh, it has a combined bathing and showering room, which I love. That's one of my favorite features in any hotel. When I see this combined setup, I go gaga. But this room has two showers. Check out this, this outdoor setup. You're exposed underneath the elements, but still private, still uh, secluded. This is where I'm gonna get my scrub on for sure. This bed is unbelievably perfect. It also has the TV that comes out of the cabinet. So if you have a rainy day or if you're kind of bored, you can just pop up that TV and relax in bed. Uh, the bedroom overlooks this large living room area. And then a the bedroom also overlooks this balcony area. And this is probably one of the coolest parts, if not the coolest part of the room. Just this balcony, this terrace area is as large as a lot of hotel rooms I've stayed in in the past. And uh, the reason this is one of the best rooms on the entire property is just its access, the way it's situated right next to the 21 plus adult pool, it's footsteps to the beach, and then you have a bar down there where you can get your drink on and quench your thirst. So that is it for my initial room rundown. If you wanna know all the details of the $1,600 a night suite, uh, check the link in the description below. I did a dedicated video, but for now it's time to get this trip started. I'm here for three nights. I couldn't be more excited. Multiple pools, multiple restaurants, just one of the best St. Regis's in the world. And I'm looking forward to finding out why. All right, good news, bad news. The good news is I'm absolutely in love with this property. I'm beaming, I'm grinning from ear to ear. I'm so excited to be here. I know I've said that a lot and I probably need to find a different phrase, but those words cannot be any more true. So because I have such respect for this property and because I wanna have two full and fantastic days tomorrow and the next day, I'm kind of gonna have this a low-key night tonight. Here's how I settled in. I got the AC cranked. I got the uh, balcony windows open. I ordered some room service, I just got here. I got the St. Regis burger. And then I got some uh, lobster quesadillas. One is missing. I couldn't wait for you, I was so hungry. And then look at this exquisite thing. I have the St. Regis pizza. I love the logo and the branding on this box. Just looks really elegant. So I'm gonna report back on all this food. I'm feeling comfy, I'm feeling relaxed. I'm probably gonna be done for the night, but we're gonna get things really kicked off in the morning. All right, good morning. No, no, it's not a good morning. It's an excellent morning. Dare I say, is it a perfect morning? This is the best weather I've had while I've been here, and I'm at the best property in the entire area. Is it the best property in the entire country? I don't know, but I'm here to find out. Um, so here is what the adult 21 plus pool looks like. This is the very tranquil one. This is the very quiet one. Uh, the other pool is kind of where the action is. I'm probably gonna check that out first. Maybe I'll head back over here. The pools are open 24 hours a day. Could there be a night swim at some point in this video? I don't know, maybe. The beaches uh, look like they are white sand. By far the best looking beaches I've seen while I've been in Puerto Vallarta or Puerto de Mita. I definitely have to put my feet in the sand. And I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna eat. I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. Should I rage? Dare I rage at the St. Regis? Or should I just have a tranquil, relaxing day? I'm gonna do what feels natural.
All right, good morning. Take a look at this weather. Today is actually better than yesterday. The weather's been so amazing while I've been here. My time at the W is almost forgivable. Almost, but not quite. But this is definitely making up for it. Okay, so yesterday, uh, I got hammered. I got completely smashed. I raged. I had the rager of all ragers at the St. Regis pool. It was fun, cozy, intimate, private, but still social. Uh, it was a marvelous time. I'll tell you about that in a second. And then today, uh, since today is even better than yesterday, I can't let this day go to waste. I have to take full advantage of it. I wanna do something different than yesterday. And I still have to eat here at St. Regis. Haven't done a lot of eating. It's been mostly a liquid diet. So I definitely wanna partake in some of the food. So I'm gonna get inside and lay it out for you, let you know what's going on. All right, so about yesterday, uh, talk about taking advantage of the great weather. I, I definitely took advantage of it. Uh, or it took advantage of me, depending on which way you wanna look at it. I raged hard. I went hard in the paint. Uh, it was quite the ordeal. It was it was uh, quite the spectacle, actually. It was so much fun. Like I said, the St. Regis Pool. Let me say something real quick about the St. Regis Pool. Surprisingly youthful, at least at this location, at the time I was here, I would say I was one of the oldest people at the pool, okay? So lots of young adults, uh, fantastic crowd. You know, like I said, it was private, but still social. If you want to kind of meet people, I had a fantastic time. So I couldn't decide what I wanted to do yesterday. They have the 21 plus pool, which my balcony overlooks. And then they have the general pool, which is where I went. Then they have a private beach. Then they have a public beach. Uh, the private beach would be more secluded. The chairs are spaced far apart. It isn't social at all. It'd basically be for you or for a few other people. Then they have the public beach where they have the bars. The seating is much more close together. It would be uh, the more social area of the beach. So I could decide what I wanted to do. In fact, I was gonna try to do all four of the things yesterday because I didn't know how the weather was going to be today. Uh, but I got to the general pool and that was it. So here's what happened. I got there and it was actually kind of quiet, kind of tranquil. And I just started doing my thing. I asked, you know, for the best drink or the coolest drink. And then they brought me out some like bahia, whatever it was. It was like a green alcohol drink. It had like apple in it, maybe some celery, maybe some basil. It was all right. Definitely not cool tasting or cool looking. So then I took matters in my own hand. I walked down to the Meet and Mary bar because uh, I want to talk to the bartenders directly. Had a little chit chat with them and ended up doing a Coco Loco or a James version of a Coco Loco. So that thing was rocket fuel. That thing definitely got the day started. And then after that, I showed them a picture of my drink that I had at the Sheridan. You know, the pineapple uh, guy with the fruit face on it. And uh, they're like, yeah, we can do that. So then they made me a pineapple loca. And that was like the talk of the pool. Everybody loved it. People were coming up to me. And then I ended up meeting some people. And there was another round of the pineapple drinks. And then there was another round of the coconut drinks. And then there was another round of Casa de Azul. So 12, 12 o'clock turned into six o'clock fast. And then that was my day. I came back here and it was lights out. I think I woke up at nine in a stupor. I was stupefied. Uh, went to my refrigerator, got my leftover uh, room service from the night before. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering which was better, uh, the St. Regis burger or the St. Regis pizza, and I just hit a lifelong goal, by the way. Does it get any better than ordering a burger and pizza at the St. Regis? Uh, spoiler, it doesn't. Uh, the burger was better. The burger was better than the pizza. They both uh, were actually really, really good, but the burger was definitely the standout. Okay, back on track, uh, ate that went back into a slumber, woke up this morning, hit the gym. Uh, the gym was nice. It had like a hot tiki feel to it. It was not as nice as the W's though, which is weird. I feel everything at the St. Regis should be better than everything else. The gym at the W was better. I literally had a two hour workout. I walked four miles, weight trained for another hour, and now I'm back. And the grogginess is finally going away. I'm feeling better. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do right now is go down to the private beach and have some lunch because I have not eaten a lot of food while I've been here. And then I'll probably end up going to the 21 plus pool for a little while. And then tonight for dinner, I'm thinking Meet a Mary. Uh, Meet a Mary is where I hung out yesterday and got into all that trouble. Uh, it's just a fun little barnacle of a shack, restaurant, beachside, open air environment, really fun food, really fun drinks. I am definitely looking forward to getting some sustenance in my belly, both for lunch and for dinner.
All right, so I was wrong. There are actually three pools here. Um, that beautiful staircase waterfall area, it leads all the way down and that's what it turns into. So that is another pool right there. And as this pool ends, this is where the private beach starts. So this is where I'm gonna hang out. This strip of sand goes down for probably about a quarter of a mile. There looks to be better sand that way. That's where I'm gonna head. All right, so I think this is definitely the spot. All I did was walk down a little further. Uh, that's the end of the 21 plus pool, which I'm going to after this. There's a bar in case I get bored. I got my pick of seating right here. Great views of the ocean, people out there paddle boarding. Uh, I love it when the waves crash in those rock formations. This is just uh, pretty much paradise. So that was quite simply the lunch of the year. Does it get any better? St. Regis on the beach, perfect weather, in the shade, turquoise to the waters, white sand, and the food was outstanding. All right, I'm gonna drop this off and it's time to get to the 21 plus adult pool. All right, what a stupendous day. Stupendous, I have not used that word in such a long time, but if there was ever a time or a place to use that word, it is right here, right now, at the St. Regis Punta de Mita. I had the lunch of the year, and then that was followed up by just a phenomenal pool experience. I had the entire 21 plus adult pool to myself. Uh, the words distinguished, elegant, exclusive, secluded, private, upscale, refreshing, tranquil, serene. They don't do its justice. It was such a special experience. Basically, it's like having your own private mansion, private villa pool, uh, just, uh, just Oceanside. It was just literally an indescribable experience. And in fact, I loved it so much, I think I'm actually going back there right now. And then after that, I'm planning to go to Mita Mary for a sunset dinner. Meet and Mary is where I got into trouble yesterday. Uh, it is that like seafood shack that is next to the general pool. Uh, it's right on the beach. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna have some sunset seafood, taking my last night here, just really kind of bask in the specialness of this property. And then tomorrow I am out of here. It's something that I definitely don't want to think about. And I'm gonna do everything I can to live in the moment and appreciate this experience on my final night. I did not expect this hotel to be so approachable. I thought this hotel would be more arrogant, more haughty, more condescending, more pretentious than what it is. It's not at all. It is surprisingly approachable. You know, sometimes you go to these elite upper echelon hotels and they're so arrogant, you kind of get the feeling that they're doing you a favor by letting you stay there. And here it's not the case at all. Yes, this is one of the best properties in the world. It's a top five St. Regis and it's one of the best hotels in Mexico. So I'm gonna say it's one of the best hotels in the world, but they're not arrogant. So what actually got me on that thought was my dinner last night at Mita Mary, just uh, a boat shack place, just right on the beach, right next to the pool, fantastic food. The best quesadilla I ever had in my entire life. Right from the grill, right to your plate, right to your mouth. 
10 seconds in between all that. It was the best I've ever had. It defines freshness. I'm like salivating over one right now. It was unbelievable. But just what a great spot to get a bite. I mean, I always, I don't always want five diamond, four diamond, three star Michelin uh, restaurants. In fact, those get old to me very, very quickly. Uh, I like a casual place and I was surprised again about how casual and how approachable some of the options were here at the St. Regis. The crowd was more youthful, energetic, and friendly than what I thought it would be, and than what I have encountered at other elite hotels in my past days. So the energy was fantastic, the crowd was fantastic, the experience was fantastic. My favorite part of the room was absolutely twofold. Uh, the balcony, my private terrace that overlooked the ocean and the pool, and then also that bathroom. I used that tub constantly, and that outdoor shower in like a tropical environment like this was just sensational, literally sensational. The best parts of the property to me were the pools. I liked how there were three of them, one being 21 plus adult. And I also liked how easily and seamlessly the pools transitioned into the beach. Also, I have to say this, but I shouldn't, but I should, but it goes without saying, the service here is top notch. I mean, if you are, there's almost nothing like the St. Regis service. And personally, I didn't leverage my butler as much as I could have or should have. I'm a pretty self-sufficient guest. But if I was on a beach, for example, and I had uh, leftovers and I wanted them taken to my room and put in my refrigerator, my butler would do that. Uh, waters, whenever I want. Uh, you know, coffees, whenever I want. Basically, they're working for you. They're your butler 24 seven. There are three on call at all time. One from seven to three, one from three to 11, and then one from 11 to seven. So three butlers working around the clock to make sure your stay is exceptional. This is unequivocally, undoubtedly a couple's hotel. This is not a place really for solo travelers. I mean, this is what I do. I have fun doing this, but I would probably recommend a different hotel if you're a solo traveler. If you're with a small group, I think this setting is almost too romantic, almost too tranquil, almost too private for you and a buddy to stay here. This is tropical paradise in Mexico. So if you want an elite, elite, hyper elite, uh, hotel experience in a tropical destination, but you want to keep it on this continent or maybe you want to come to this continent, you definitely have to consider uh, the St. Regis Punta de Mita. I was back and forth uh, between a five and a six on this property. This property uh, is going to be a victim of circumstance when it comes to my rating because this is the first St. Regis I've done on my channel and I just can't give the very first St. Regis a six out of six. Could it be a six? I think it potentially could be but you can't give the first one a six. I need to see more of the St. Regis's. And even though this is a top five St. Regis, and again, probably could be scored a six, I'm gonna give it a five. I just need to see a broader cross section of St. Regis properties before I'm able to really effectively and accurately rate this property. So I'm giving it a five, a five out of six. That's a tremendously high score. Like I said, it's one of the best hotels in Mexico. It's one of the best St. Regis's in the world.